Hello everyone, hope everything is fine and everyone is safe and good. So in this video we are going to learn how to use the Corona Shadow Catcher and to make a motion blur effect for a car using an HDRI. So let's start. Okay, first, this car will be the model that we will work on and I will download an HRI from this site that I will put the link in the description also with the car link so you can download it and use it also. Okay, and now I will choose one of the HRI I've already downloaded to use. Okay. First of all, I will go to, I will open material and from here I will choose Corona Shadow Catcher material. Okay, then I will go to environment backplate and I will choose a Corona bitmap. Just like that and from, from here I will choose an HRI that I already downloaded. I think this autumn road will be fine. I'll press OK. Okay, after that, I will copy by instance the bitmap, just like that, and I will use it as an environment, just like that. Okay, now I will see what I have here. I will start my interactive. Okay, as you can see, the car and the HDRI are working well. Okay, you can notice that there is no shadow on the street and the car is not fit, fit suitable in the HDRI. I'll create a plane from here just like that under the car okay and I'll do the car okay and from materials we'll assign the shadow catcher to the plane just like that we can see that the plane took the HRI map as it is. So from here, we will change the projection mode into environment projection into geometry, just like that. Okay. Now we can see a little bit the shadow under the car as the light from the HRI direction okay after that we will go to I'll keep this here after that we will go to the HRI material from the corona bitmap and I will choose from here environment mode and I will choose it as a dome and now we can see the dome just like that covering only the car but we want it to cover all the environment so from here I'll change the radius size so I'll put it let's say 2000 just like that and it's very important to choose the exact camera height the camera height for the uh, HRI so I think it's about 160 170 okay just like that now the car is fitting well in the HRI I'll adjust a little bit the camera height let's say 180 160 no. okay 170 is fine I will move a little bit the car and the plane to the right side 
on the left side of the road I'll rotate it a little bit just like that okay and now I you can see the dome and you can see the HRI very well now I will adjust the camera let's say just like this and I will choose it here In just these few steps, we've made this picture with no effort, with no uh, lights, with no setting, without anything. Okay, so we can adjust it from here a little bit. Now I want to make the motion blur effect to the background or to the HDRI, uh, which will seems that the car is moving very fast okay how we can do that uh, first of all i will stop the interactive and i will go to the hri i used i think that's it and i will open it in photoshop okay in a very easy way i will go to filter and go for blur gallery and I will choose path blur okay from this line here I will start a start point and end point just like that I will create another line by pressing here and here okay and I will rotate it a little bit I will move this point just like the curve of the 360 HDRI. I will create another one here and here and make the opposite just like that. Now from these edges I will create a linear line to the edge just like that here. Just like this and just like this and I will put a line to the horizon like this and I will repeat it on the other side just like this okay that's all and from here I can choose the speed the speed amount so we want it to be somehow realistic I will choose let's say 15% just like that and the press ok and I'll save this HDRI okay now from here I will change the HDRI that we used and I'll choose the new HDRI that we made in Photoshop I'll go to here and I will choose this HDRI just like that okay and now we see that the background here uh, is blurry as if this car is moving very fast okay I will recopy this to, the, to here and I will use it it's okay it's fine and now I will start the interactive again and that's it very easy way in a few steps we made a sh corona shadow catcher we can see the shadow under the car and we can see the background is blurry as if the car is moving very fast now you can change the material for the car you can you can make the color you want you can change the setting from here you can okay you can move your camera as as you want 
just like that. And that's it. So I hope you had fun learning this simple way to create this image by an easy, easy method. And I hope you liked the video and please, please leave me your comments under the comment section to know your thoughts about this video and to know about what are you interested to talk about in the future and see you next video thank you